So. All right. So, what does everyone call you? Rocky. And uh, how long have you been homeless? A year. So, what's it like to be homeless out here? Honestly, it sucks. Um, sitting on the ground holding a sign all day long, all you see are feet and legs. And uh, I mean, I don't know anybody's religious beliefs, but I pray all the time, and I feel like my prayers haven't been answered yet. But my time will come. Um, but being out here as a woman on the streets, it's scary. It's lonely. Um, it's unhealthy. Um, <clears throat> my immune system's weaker. I get harassed by people. I get propositioned. I've been just hit out of nowhere. Like men coming up hitting me out of nowhere. Um, and then like the churches and stuff out here. Don't get me wrong. They help with like your basic needs. You know, like once in a while they might bring some food out or a blanket here and there, but I feel like they're helping you stay on the streets versus getting off of them. There was a girl out here who this night ministry knew her for two months and because she does drugs and had to get a finger cut off, um, they got her a one bedroom apartment two months after she got her finger cut off. And uh, I had told them, why don't you drug test every people, everybody that you bring into these apartments, and if they fail, kick them out and move people like me in. Uh, what was your life like before you were homeless? Normal. I mean, but then again, define normal. So, uh, I mean, I worked every day. I had a job. I had my car. I had a, a roof over my head. Shower every day. And then... Uh, I, I totaled my car, lost my job, wasn't able to get to work, and kind of just all went downhill from there. Wasn't able to pay my bills. My mother's dating a kid younger than me. My dad um, lost his job and home for uh, uh, stuff I don't really like to talk about. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Um, just what his his situation. And then my siblings are all younger than me, so it's really hard to, I, I mean, if they're living with my parents, so it's not like I could just go knock on my sister's door and be like, let me live with you. But um, it, was, it was just, I mean, to me it was normal. To me, that was my normal life, working, paying my bills. And uh, what advice would you give to someone who's homeless out here? Keep your head up and take it a day at a time. Like, psychologically, how do you deal with it? It's rough. <laughs> um, I read a lot just to get my mind off of the actual streets itself. Um, honestly, I feel like the uh, streets took a little piece of me away, or took like a part of me away. But um, at the same time, I don't regret my situation. My situation, yes, it does suck. It's miserable. But um, at the same time, I don't think I would be who I am right now. And when I do get off the streets, who I will be when I get off the streets. I actually noticed that book right there, too. <laughs> and I actually know exactly what you mean when you say that the streets took a part of you away. Like, it's just, it's just one of those things you don't understand and you can't understand until you experience it. And so that kind of leads to my next question. Like, what's the number one thing that you feel like you've learned out here? To not trust anyone. I mean, and family would be the one of the first people to stab you in the back. But that's my opinion. That's my. That's what happened to me. So I can't say for all homeless people. That's the way it right. All right. So last question: If you had one wish, what would you wish for? Um, a roof over my head, or at least a room for one night to shower, to sleep in a bed. It's not fun going months without showering. <laughs> so that would be that would be my wish to get a room tonight. Well, thank you for letting me talk to you. Thank you. I feel like if more people sat down and um, talked with more people like you, they would learn a lot more about people. Well, not just that. I mean, uh, they'd realize everybody has their own story, different story. We're not, you know, don't don't get me wrong. You got your drug addicts and your alcoholics out here. Don't. Don't get me wrong on that. You got your sex offenders. You got the ones that see and hear things that we don't. You got the ones that their house just started on fire and they're out here. Or someone got a divorce and they're out here. Every, everyone's got their own own story. We're all we're not all bad people. We're I mean, 
we're a human being just as much as anybody wearing Gucci and Prada. So. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you.